Toowoomba is an amazing city. Beautiful environment, diverse in people, steeped in history, rich in culture, full of potential. And at St Bart's, our greatest hope is that every person would come to know the saving love of God. As we respond to the great commission of Jesus, to go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that Jesus has commanded, we're passionate about making maturing disciples of Jesus. As we gather, grow, give and serve, everything we do is shaped by our mission. Vision 2025 doesn't include every aspect of our ministry in the life of our church, but particular mission goals to help us take the next step. In God's strength, He's leading us to put foundations in place to multiply our mission of making maturing disciples beyond Toowoomba and for many decades to come. The first mission goal of Vision 2025 is embracing digital. Over the past year, we've learned a lot about digital and now we want to use digital even more to make and mature disciples of Jesus. As we switch to live stream and as we've continued to live stream our morning services, we've seen God use our online reach in ways that we could only begin to dream or imagine. And of course, it's not just on a Sunday that digital has been important but also important in extending the reach of our training centre, the Alpha Course, our annual Carols event, and so much more. We've been able to reach and resource more people than ever before. We believe God is leading us to embrace digital even more on Sundays, in different modes of training, putting systems in place that will help us to grow, deploy even more resources online to make disciples, and launch the St Bart's Kids digital platform. The second mission goal of Vision 2025 is actively planting. Over the past seven years, God has been growing us in extraordinary ways, doubling our size to over 500 people every Sunday, and going from just seven children under 12 to over 100 children every week. And of course, we're really quick to acknowledge that it's God who does the growing. Now, as we look to Vision 2025, we believe God is leading us to be a church with a long-term, multi-decade gospel vision that extends beyond our own geographic vicinity. We've been active as a resource church in the Western region throughout Queensland and beyond, assisting wherever is helpful as others seek to make mature disciples of Jesus. We have no intention of stopping that. However, we also believe that God is leading us to explore the potential to establish local ethnic congregations here at St. Bart's Toowoomba, and also in God's grace to be involved in planting or revitalizing a church in Brisbane. Helping to grow other local gospel-hearted churches in Brisbane is vital not only for making maturing disciples right now, but also for raising up gospel leaders and workers for the future. The third mission goal of Vision 2025 is growing maturity. We want to be a church that is intentional about developing leaders, that we would continue to grow whole of life and lifelong disciples of Jesus. Across a number of years, our training centre at St Bart's has been equipping disciples to grow in their faith. Recently, up to 90 people have participated in the Ridley Certificate each term, and we would love to see this continue to expand to equip hundreds of people every term across Southern Queensland. Growing in maturity also includes being proactive about how people first come to hear about Jesus and grow as disciples. We've already seen God use Alpha in amazing ways and hope to integrate it further in our discipleship pathway. The other key mission priority in growing maturity is to establish a leadership academy at St Bart's and grow our leadership pipeline. Today, we have over 45 leaders of teams. To enable our mission as a church, we need to be training up to 120 leaders every year. We'll also be seeking to grow our internship program in order that we can identify, develop and deploy more gospel workers in specialist and general ministry areas. The fourth mission goal of Vision 2025 is extending reach. In God's kindness, He has been actively growing the diversity of our church in extraordinary ways in recent years. We want to be a church that reflects the needs and shape of the local communities in which God has placed us. We also want to extend our ethnic reach, providing key resources in targeted languages, 
intentional action to assist people from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds, and employing a Korean and South Sudanese specialist to nurture missional opportunities. As part of our mission goal to extend our reach, we also want to improve the accessibility of our church. This means nurturing a welcoming culture to people of diverse backgrounds, but also fostering an accessible environment for those with mobility, vision, hearing and language needs. We're also praying that God would help us to identify one area of need for the most vulnerable in our community of Toowoomba, that St Bart's can be active in supporting. The fifth mission goal of Vision 2025 is improving our footprint. We want to be a church in which we are leaders in the stewarding of God's creation and proactive in ensuring our facilities can support our growth. There's no doubt the building has been a great blessing that has enabled our continued growth. However, even with the completion of Stage 2 in 2017, in recent times our facilities have been stretched. That's why one of our mission priorities is to assess our building needs and develop a plan to ensure that we sufficiently cater for current and future growth. We're also seeking to fast-track amortisation of our building loan so that we can resource other areas of the ministry sooner. Improving our footprint, however, is not just about growing our facilities, but raising the bar in our stewardship of God's creation. We want to be leaders in exemplifying stewardship of God's creation, reducing our negative impact on the environment, and nurturing a culture in which we delight and proactively take care of the world that God's entrusted to us. I'm so thankful for the gospel partnership we share, and I'm so excited about where God is leading us in Vision 2025. None of it can be done in our own strength, but only in God's strength. None of it is for our glory, but for God's glory alone. It's our privilege to partner with God and all that He is doing, that we would be a church, not just making maturing disciples today, but setting the foundations in place to be making maturing disciples for many decades to come. Thank you.